Welcome friends. Now we have seen we in the earlier slide we got the network data in which we have seen that we have to see how much is the short circuit level that we have discussed the parameters. I will just repeat how much will be the short circuit level of the network and production clearance time is taken as an example uh, as an uh, one of the most important parameters and one second is taken as thermal design it means five in within 500 uh, milliseconds substation has to clear the fault whereas uh, mesh can withstand the fault run up to one second so we have 100 percent uh, margin of safety we have taken so just i want to explain you one thing is that for the equipment mostly you will see they are designed for uh, uh, 63 kilo ampere for 3 seconds so the question is why we are designing mesh for uh, less than 3 seconds uh, theoretically or ideally the mesh should also be designed for the same rating as for the equipment uh, but the reason is the equipment is also feeding a 3 phase short circuit fault and full fault current is uh, flowing through the breaker whereas the ground fault will will always occur it will the short circuit level will be lesser and all the paths within the ground will share the short circuit current level so that's why these are two little different parameters and uh, we have selected uh, from the utility we have the option of 500 milliseconds for the correct operation time and thermal design we are selecting one second so the next topic uh, I want to start is the specific soil resistivity. The specific soil resistivity is uh, one of the very important uh, <coughs> another item or the quantity that we should know before uh, starting the uh, calculation. So what is the process? The geotechnical investigation is conducted by a company. Uh, on site measurement of specific resistivity with readings from 1.5 meters 3 meters 4.5 meters 6 meters 15 meters 30 meters 40 and 45 meters electrode spacing were made on the site the measured soil resistivity for different points are indicated as under so what is the process the process is that in this process uh, we will add uh, the rods uh, different rods at different uh, you can say uh, uh, distance and uh, by putting this uh, rods we will be able to measure the resistivity so we have an area in this area we have chose different sites so for example line 1 we have put the rods up to 45 this is the last rod you have seen this is 45 one is at 30 one is at uh, 15 another one is at 9 6 and, and so on so these are shown by different symbols and we have taken the reading line 1 south to north and you can see the reading range is, uh, is shown in ohms per meter is shown on the vertical axis and the reading is from 0 to 35 and the electrode sp spacing is shown on the horizontal axis and you can see various readings and the results are shown so we have taken one reading from south to north north to south and then west to east and then east to west so these are the more readings from south west to northeast and then northeast to southwest so all the corners we have uh, put the rods and we have taken the readings major readings show that the soil structure is not uniform in nature and pattern can be can best be described by a two layer or multi layer configuration so all resistivity value have been used as input to software and cumulative pattern has been used to represent the soil model the earthing grid uh, would be placed in the top 0.5 meters so uh, what it is saying that uh, 
the results are not uniform so uh, because the results are not uniform it means that resistivity is changing with the different uh, distance and and the and and the same land has two different layers or it has more than two layers it's kind of multi layer configuration where each layer is uh, has a different resistivity so what is the solution solution is that we will use the uh, earthing software and we will put all these uh, values in the software with different uh, resistance values and then the software will automatically do the calculations and the resultant it will show that how much is the conductor size is required so the software after getting the values it calculates uh, a cumulative pattern in, uh, with some simulation logic uh, that is not we are not discussing now when we will see the software that we are used in a separate training <coughs> i will be explaining you how it's working so then uh, and after analyzing the software it is also suggesting that uh, what should be the depth of the um, earth mass should be and it is suggesting that uh, earth mass should be laid uh, 0.5 meter under the um, level top level <coughs> so um in the next video uh, i will add two videos which are showing that how our resistance resistivity is measured and what is the difference between resistance and resistivity a little bit i will explain now basically the resistance is uh, depending upon the length of the conductor whereas the resistivity is basically characteristics of a material defined on a per unit length and if you know the resistivity of uh, material you can calculate the resistance so it is the characteristics of the material that is uh, deciding the resistivity so thank you very much and then you just enjoy the new two new videos uh, describing the resistance resistivity and how they are on the side they are doing the resistivity test and we will move to the next topic after that thank you very much